video 9 in a series of fire training videos designed to give you basic knowledge for dealing with fire safety and emergency procedures in the workplace. To understand how we deal with fire, it's important to understand what makes fire or what creates combustion. Fire cannot exist without fuel, heat and oxygen. Oxygen is readily available in the air we breathe and there is plenty of fuel like paper and timber and gases and many other substances available which gives us two sides of the fire triangle in many many situations. It's usually only heat that is missing from the equation. Heat can be introduced through friction or a chemical reaction of some sort or other or even something as simple as a match or a stove. Putting out a fire is about deciding which of the three components on the fire triangle can most easily be removed from the fire situation. Water is the first choice for many classes of fires because it takes away the heat and can also suffocate the fire by reducing the amount of available oxygen. The reason wet timber does not burn is nothing to do with the properties of wet timber, it's because water cannot be increased beyond 100 degrees Celsius without turning it into vapor. So as long as something is wet, its maximum temperature will be at or below 100 degrees, which is far too cool for fire to be sustained. The heat of the fire would need to evaporate all of the water before ignition could occur again, which is why you often see firefighters dousing a building with water long after the flames have gone. They are making sure the building remains wet so the fire cannot start again. So the basic lesson is that it is impossible to have a fire unless all three elements of combustion are present. In video 10, we will look at why it is essential that you use the right type of extinguisher on a fire. Using the wrong extinguisher could actually make the disaster worse.